Hello guys, welcome back and in this video we are going to see what are conditional statements and how to use them inside Godot engine. So what is a conditional statement? So a conditional statement is a piece of code that checks if a particular condition is true or not and based on that it alters the flow of code execution. So what means? What it means is when you are playing a game you get to choose a certain option and based on your chosen option the flow of game changes. So uh, let's take a very uh, simple example. Let's say you are building a quiz game. So in that uh, game, you uh, give a question, you print a question on the screen and you give the player four choices. So choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four. So out of that, only one choice is correct, right? So when the player makes a choice, you basically in, in your backend, in your code, you check if that choice is correct or not. And based on that, you show a win screen or a lose screen. Okay. So this was just a simple uh, example, but in a, you know, a, a more like a 3D or a 2D game, where are some more complicated game uh, flow is there, then the choices can be anything. Either the player is shooting a fire or, or if the player health is there or not to do something or, or if the player is... Uh, uh, is there or not so uh, it's it's like a, a lot of choices that we have to make when we are building a game so it is very uh, necessary and very basic concept to understand the rule of branching so that's what we are going to see so let us jump back to godot engine all right so we are back in the editor and let's see what is the conditional statements and how to use them so uh, let's take a example of a, a variable called health. So let's take where, let's say player health and initialize it with a float because it can, okay, let's initialize it with the type of int and let's give it a value of 100, okay? So uh, now let's say we uh, do have a requirement where if the player health goes below uh, 100, so if it is any value, then it is going to print, uh, let's say you have to take some rest. And if it is 100, then it will say uh, you are good for a battle. Okay. So how do we do that? So basically, let's uh, type in the uh, ready function. And inside this, I have to check for a condition now that if my health is below 100, then I have to print a statement. And if it is like if it is equals to 100 or, or whatever then uh, it is going to print the other statement so how do we do that so basically we have an option of having a keyword called if so the syntax is basically you say uh, you write in if the keyword then you press a space give it a space and after that you write the condition so my condition is if the player health is less than 100 so let me uh, remind you this is the condition so here i am checking whether my player health is less than the value of 100 and here i am giving a colon symbol to end the statement and after that inside this if statement now with a tab space i will write my statement that if it is less than 100 means i will print you need to take some rest okay and now if uh, i have to uh, you know print the other statement so along with if we have another keyword called else so let me just uh, explain you what else do in a moment uh, meanwhile here let me just write in print you are good to fight okay now let us press ctrl s to save the script and let me hit play so it is coming you are good to fight so basically that this statement is getting executed and this statement is ignored from my code so what is happening right now so see what happens when i hit play basically i have initialized this player health with a type of int and i have given it a value of 100 now in the ready function what happens that i am checking a condition that if the player health is less than 100 okay so only if this condition gets true then only this statement will be executed otherwise the compiler will move on to the next line of code so uh, along with if we have a keyword called else so what else is doing that 
if let's say I have a lot of uh, you know conditional statements to check in and if none of the condition is true and if I have written else then automatically the con uh, the else condition will become true and whatever I have the code uh, beneath the else uh, will get executed automatically so here in this case I have only one condition I am checking that if the player health is less than 100 so it is not uh, you know it is not satisfying the condition so automatically the else is getting executed now uh, let's uh, assume that if we want to check one more condition that if it is uh, you know um, let's say if the health goes below 50 then I would print something else okay so how can we do that so basically over here we have to uh, add in one more condition now some of you may think that again I have to write if health player health let's say is less than 50 like this but uh, this statement is wrong why because here I am doing an if now in the like when we are doing a check so if we have to go through multiple checks so we cannot type in if let see for uh, see for yourself so how it will work is if I type in print you need to take some medical pills just just for an example now that you can see that my code editor is not giving me any error because technically it is correct but what happens if i play so it is coming you are good to fight now uh, let me just make it a value of let's say 40. now what will happen let me hit play so see you can see right away it is printing two statements you need to take some rest and you need to take some medical pills so what is happening exactly so see here what is happening is when the compiler is coming over here it is checking for this condition if player health is smaller than 100 and our the value of 40 is obviously uh, is correct for this particular statement so what is happening it is printing this statement again i have if over here and it is checking that again it is checking that if the player health is less than 50 so but what my need is that once if any of the condition is true it should print only that statement okay so now in order to check for a continuation what we can do here is instead of if we can have lf okay so lf is basically if you have already given an if statement so l if is basically a continuation of checks that we can have so we can even we can have a hundred of uh, conditions that we can check if so let's say if i want to check where health is less than let's say 30 then we can have another statement and uh, here we we may have you seriously need some medical treatment so uh, like this we can append a lot of uh, you know conditions in this and later on when we are uh, when we will be seeing uh, uh, you know how to make games in that we will see how efficiently we can use the if and elif and else statements in our code in order to make some decisions so uh, here i have what i have done is uh, i have pressed ctrl s to save my script and i have run this script and right away you can see that even though I have a lot of conditional going on as soon as the first condition gets true so it just prints and ignore the rest of the code so it is coming you need to take some rest now let's say if I want to uh, you know uh, make this thing uh, into the play uh, because right now what is happening is simply checking that if my player health is less than 100 and this uh, statement is getting printed but the code is not able to reach to these two statements because the first condition itself is getting true so here i have to you know uh, add one more uh, condition one more check over here that if the player is health is less than 100 but it is greater than 50 so how can i do that i can simply type in double ampersand sign uh, to add one more condition and over here i can check if my player health is greater than 50 so here right away what will happen that when i reload uh, replay my code so here 
now it will check for two conditions if the player health is uh, less than 100 and the player health is greater than 50 so let's hit replay and now you can see it is showing you need to take some medical pills so here basically this statement is getting executed because the player health is less than 50 now uh, let me just make it let's uh, let's make it a value of 20 hit replay again now you need to take some medical pills so basically again this statement is getting executed because 20 is less than 50 but in order to be able to uh, the code editor to reach this particular line of statement here i have to add one more condition that the health has to be between 50 and 30 so if the player health is less than 50 and if the player health is greater than 30 then only this condition needs to be checked and if the player health is less than 30 then this condition needs to be checked so let's hit play again so now this is coming so you seriously need some medical treatment okay so now let's uh, make a value of 100 again and let's hit reply replay sorry so this statement is coming you are good to fight so basically this one so uh this was it about the if and else and elif uh, statements so uh, the, in this statement we can basically check multiple conditions so there is no limit on checking you you may have you know uh, five or six multiple conditions to be checked simultaneously you can obviously do that and in the later videos when we go ahead and make a game so there we will see how uh, exactly it is used in a real life scenario when we actually make a game itself so this was the first part in the second part we will see some more conditional checks and uh, statements that we can use and so see you in the next video